You know, I'm so happy and excited because I was about to leave, go home, have my five o'clock lunch, eat a pint of lemon sorbet, but I saw my camera and realized I forgot to film a vlog. And uh, unfortunately, been dealing with so much negative stuff the harassment has gotten pretty bad at this point that I'm gonna to have to just sit down and talk about it at the beginning of this vlog and kind of go over what we're doing. But in good news, I have to give a shout out to Taylor Professional because I sent him an email that I was missing these like metal plates for the top of the scale and I was like, hey, can I buy a few of them? And they were kind enough to send me as my guys work in the background making too much noise. They were kind enough to send me three brand new replacement scales. And these aren't cheap, guys. These are, well, in terms of uh, commercial scale equipment, I guess, you know, these aren't $5,000 scales. But, you know, these are 70, 80 bucks each. And, and these are decent quality, uh, good food scales for weighing stuff. I like these a lot. Very kind enough to send me three of these for free. So I'll give them a little shout out there. Tell a professional. Maybe I'll put it on my Amazon shop too for you guys. But, uh, well, my guys are still messing around in the back. They're about to leave. So we're, we're going to sit down and talk about what's been going on harassment wise. Uh, so I'm not, not having fun here. Not having fun. I'm spending half the day at work and the other half of the day writing up lawsuits in my house. So, so I usually refer to these people as corporate shells, but that kind of devalues their level of organization and commitment to harass me. I can't call them what they are because I'd, you know, the video would just get taken down and I'd be shadow banned even more. I like to refer to them as the elite, but that that's not technically accurate because it's it's not a, they're not all like rich, successful, very wealthy people. There's a bunch of cronies too. Um, when I refer to them as like club members, I don't like that either because a club sounds kind of exclusive. But what these people are are just like a bunch of parasites that have been doing the same thing for thousands and thousands of years. It's parasites raising parasites. And whenever someone legitimate or actual small businesses just show up, they just try to buy, they just try to completely shut them down. They, they, these people believe that they're better than everyone else. They deserve everything, all the wealth, all the power. And it's very important to understand the separation between them and everyone else. They support each other, they help each other, they work together to steal. It's like a war. It's like the, and, and that's really what it is. But the, the average population, you know, the general population, the average person doesn't understand that they treat it like war. They would, if they could get away with it, they would slit your throat. Like that's how evil these people are. So it's like, it's unbalanced though, because like the average person is like, you know, they're, I don't want to use the word gullible, but they're unassuming, they're nice, they're generally kind people. And if you understood how evil and cutthroat these people were, you wouldn't you would never walk inside a Costco again. You would never walk inside a McDonald's again. If if I could illustrate how evil these people are and what they're trying to do to me, it's unacceptable. So there there were three things that really irritated me this week. One was this guy stole uh, $1,775 worth of product from Wi-Fi Shield. Almost $2,000 filed chargebacks. I looked up this person. They have like a $6 million house in California. Um, unfortunately, like the community guidelines and stuff, I can't really... Like if they had a social media page I was able to find, I could probably post that, but it's all like personal stuff. So I don't think I'm actually allowed to divulge their personal name or information on here. I'm not allowed to do that. Uh, I was thinking of filing a police report. I could do that. I'm going to, not all of the chargebacks went through yet. One of them did side with them though. So I'm already out 400. If the rest of that goes through, I don't know. I'm going to have to file. It's that's probably the most amount of money anyone's ever stolen from me. It's insane. I have to go over there and film a video in front of their house. But it's actually disgusting, actually despicable. And uh, maybe we'll get in, more into that one another day. But then there was this one girl that I actually filed a lawsuit against. With I, I wrote the lawsuit the next day. It was so disgusting, and I can say I can say her name now because I filed the lawsuit. Anna Filatova. This girl placed like an order. She complained that she got sick from the duck eggs. Which, by the way, no one's. At, we've sold. We sell. We sell thousands of dozens of duck eggs a month. We sell so many eggs, and this was the first person that ever complained about getting sick. Right? Coincidentally, also a first-time customer. 
coincidentally also ordered meat and started complaining about the meat products too and then spent every waking hour of the next three days filing negative reviews i was getting email notifications every single hour Anna Filatova one star review Anna Filatova one star review like what is these people are so disgusting and despicable and this is malicious targeted harassment there is no legitimacy to anything these people are saying so if you want to read about what this girl specifically did you can look you can look up the lawsuit now it's public Tofano v Filatova you can see what she's you can see what she said about me and when she has to go and spend ten thousand dollars for a lawyer to tell her that she shouldn't have said this these people are not if these these people are not being 100 percent factually correct and honest with their reviews and when you google my business you see like two i'm rated two stars on google i'm rated two stars on facebook i got one star review is one star review on the Better Business Bureau. Is that indicative of a person who sells the highest quality, freshest meat online at insanely cheap prices? No, it's not. It's not. If there's ever an issue with it, and that girl got a refund too. I refunded her product and she continued to harass me and leave these reviews, which is completely ridiculous. And I'm, look, I filed about 10 lawsuits in the past two weeks. I, I, I mean, I won't get too much into that. One was, you know, Reddit permanently banned me. I can't advertise on Reddit, so I'm suing them. TikTok banned me from advertising. I'm suing TikTok. I'm, I'm literally spending half my day working and half my day doing legal paperwork because I'm fed up at this point. I'm completely disgusted. Disp I filed one lawsuit against um, uh, the people that were, like, like, when I got raided by the USDA, the people that were, like, took my attention for themselves, I'm suing them, all those social media pages. I'm going to have to file... Speaking of the USDA, they 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 just sent me. I, I spent days writing up this grant to try to give back to this lower income community here, and they and they sent me an email already denying the saying it's not even qualified to be reviewed. If you, I mean, we might have to sue the USDA too, right? They the USDA denied my grant last year. They raided my business the year before. They denied my loan application last year for a separate business venture, and now they're denying these grants? Hold on. Something's fishy here. So I won't get too much into that. So that, that one girl, Anna Filatova, really pissed me off to the point where I literally filed a lawsuit <laughs> like against her solely. And then there was there's this other girl that's been emailing me now. And it's very problematic, first-time people. Uh, and it says, and we have a we have another lawsuit that we filed two months ago against all the people that have ever filed chargebacks against my business. Um, Tufano v. Free Range Meat Conspirators, a list of all, and, and that lawsuit goes into detail about what these people are doing me to harass me. And guys, I had there were ten people last week, maybe maybe less, that had a problem with their order. They email me, I issued them a refund, no problem. If people have a legitimate issue with their order, they email me, I issue them a refund, and there's. They get or they get a completely new product. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just these people are like I don't even want to talk. I don't even want to talk about this at all because it's like a negative thing, and I don't want any sort of negativity associated with my business. But what I said earlier, when you Google my business, who's gonna? They're gonna see two star, one star reviews, and I'm losing customers. And and that's why I'm gonna write up. I'm gonna write up a lawsuit against Google. I'm gonna write up a lawsuit against Facebook. They're 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 hosting a platform for these malicious conspirators to slander my business, and it's costing me new customers and a lot of money. It's completely disgusting. This other girl places an order. First email she sends me, these are the wrong amounts, which is not correct. She I made her take a photo of all the products she received, and she actually got more meat than she ordered. So then she stopped emailing me. Then she said, oh, this meat smells. I want my money back. It's not grass-fed. And she specifically got the the local Amish beef that we just slaughtered last week. So that meat, could, that meat could have been out in the sun for a week, and it would still be fresh. Like, that's how freshly it was slaughtered. Then she started complaining about that. She said, oh, the meat's not grass-fed. The meat's smelly. And then, then oh, oh, <laughs> after I didn't issue her a refund for luck she was lying about the weight of the meat trying to get money from me then she said oh the meat's smelly it's not good trying to get money from me and now she sends me another email oh i'm sick i got sick from your meat really real these the fact that these if you if you're gonna do that if, if look 
if you if you've been ordering from me if you have a legitimate concern and you're not comfortable with the product that's one thing I always issue a refund I always help people with that if you're gonna pull this BS and try to scam me for four emails and then as so much threatened to say you you got sick I hope you have hospital bills and records because I will file a lawsuit the next fucking day against these degenerates okay there's nothing wrong with having guys I can show you I can show you how many thousands of dollars I've refunded in the past month for customers that have legitimate issues but this this is absolutely disgusting behavior by these people and next time you go to Costco next time wherever you whenever pretty much every other business is owned by these people so know that and again perhaps not direct affiliation but the people that own Costco the people that own these grocery stores the people that own everything they meet in secret and they organize and hire people to harass small businesses like mine and they do this to get money from me to slander the business because they don't want me they want everything to themselves and they and these people they don't want to offer legitimate products at fair prices all they care about is money so that's my little rant for today I've had enough of this I'm tired of these people stealing money from me it's absolutely disgusting I'll show you guys what's going on this week I think it's mostly just stuff in the freezer I should probably show you. Nothing's ready yet, but I guess I could give you guys a little sneak preview of what we're going to have in maybe two months. So we finally found a company to do all the, the Frankie's products. Uh, we got sunscreen, <laughs> me wearing sunglasses. We got shaving cream, me with a beard that I can never grow. And then we got a new hair pomade formulation, me with slick back hair. We're going to have them make the shampoo as well, and I think we'll have them make a few more products. So. Uh, if you guys want to support frankiesnaturals.com with the products we have now and all that stuff, you can, these, these, I, I kind of didn't want to show you guys because it might be a while till we get these, but uh, it's something to look forward to probably a month and a half, two months from now. All new line of the Frankie's Naturals products. Yeah, the big restock last week was the glandulars. So we have like the male virility and we have all the thyroid support as well as the frozen glandulars in the freezer. Nothing too crazy or exciting this week. I guess the biggest thing for me, uh, we got the lemon sorbet back in stock with the new recipe using the flextrose, the organic glucose. So like I can eat the whole tub of it and feel a bit better because the fructose content is lower. Um, we restocked the raw pork bacon, which is big because we haven't had that for a while. We restocked the ground iberical pork. And then I think there's a few other restocks here and there, but not nothing too crazy. Uh, I'm a little excited we're gonna do the uh, it's a cotton candy grape sorbet. So I bought like the organic cotton candy grapes, which actually taste like cotton candy. And we made a sorbet mix and we're gonna have that this week. So I'm excited. I'm thinking of doing an orange or apple sorbet too. I think we might have some extra time this week. So um, I'm, I'm kind of excited to, because if I'm not doing something new to distract me from all the negative stuff, I just, that's why you guys see me doing all this crazy stuff and buying new stuff every week. I've been like buying stuff at auctions and reselling it just to like keep my mind off a lot of the negative stuff. Um, so I guess we'll hop in the fridge and see if there's anything new for me to show you. We didn't label it yet, but we got pineapple kefir now. So we have strawberry, blueberry, pineapple, and cherry dairy kefir flavors available if you guys want some variety. All the roast beef freshly made this week, cooked rare. Really, really perfect. Guys, this is only $10 each now. This is amazingly special. It's cheaper than your grocery store. 100% grass-fed, cooked rare. Highest quality roast beef online. Really, really special product. You guys buy a lot of it every week. Uh, we shipped out most of the raw dairy because it's the end of the day Monday. Uh, we still have some sheep milk left. What's new, but we're getting it in very small amounts, is uh, we do have sheep butter. So we did sell out of all the regular butter this week. Our farmer was having some production issues, but on Wednesday, we're gonna be restocking a lot of butter. Uh, this is new, we just gotta label it. We got some Grana Padano cheese instead. Uh, similar to Parmigiano, it's just more buttery, a little more affordable, so we're gonna get that labeled. We have that available on the website now. Uh, just some meat here to send out uh, with some beef shares. Uh, two people ordered a quarter beef each, so we have our fresh, fresh local ground beef here and we got some steaks just freshly slaughtered last week all of the ham and stuff the bolota the sabo everything sliced really thin on the burkle slicer paper thin really delicious 
Uh, and then we got a decent amount of eggs to send out. Yeah, I showed you guys this a few times. We got it on Facebook Marketplace for a really good price. Uh, this machine is able to get the prosciutto and, and ham really, really thin. Super expensive new, but uh, we're happy to have it and offer you guys the, the highest quality sliced ham products possible. Without this, you can't really do it. I also saw a few like brand new electric slicers at an auction um, that I might get and see if they're better than these. If not, um, I'll just resell them because stuff like that is really important for uh, for like reducing my uh, labor cost and increasing the, the sales potential. Like we bought this uh, Hollymatic burger machine. Not sure if it works yet. We're just trying to clean it up really well and we'll see if we could do burger patties with it. But um, yeah, you know, you try to save money and, and get stuff for like two or three thousand instead of the full sales price of twenty thousand but it's like it's always a nightmare and it's always a pain to work with this type of stuff but if it works and we can make some burgers maybe I'll buy a few replacement parts ideally just just use it as is and and then when I get my uh, Russian princess to buy my ten million dollar facility I won't have to worry about stuff like this oh, I should probably put my sweatshirt on it's gonna be so cold So a lot of the the local pork share has been sold already. I think what we mostly have left is ham and sausage. This is really good for breakfast. I'll probably start uh, eating this pork ham for breakfast with my pancakes and stuff. It's already, you know, it's been brined, it's been smoked, it's, it's ready to eat stuff. So the main thing left in the Amish pork share is, as I said, the ham, and I think there's some sausage around. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's ham and pork chops. Guys, $15 a pound. $15 a pound for... No, it's actually cheaper. I think it's like $10 a pound for corn and soy-free pork chops. Probably half the price of everywhere else online. We got our regular Iberico pork here. This is the, the restocked ground Iberico. Forgot to tell you guys, we're giving away New York strip steaks this week. So every order gets two free New York strip steaks. Every order, uh, two 12 ounce steaks, so almost two pounds of steak for free. Forgot to show you guys over here. All the pork bacon is back in stock too. We got the, the regular raw Iberico pork belly sliced thin. Uh, in the fridge, we have the cured stuff, but you guys like this more. This is that organic lemon sorbet. Guys, the texture on this sorbet is phenomenal. It's This recipe is improvement from the last time. So if you liked the last lemon sorbet, this one's even better. Texture is amazing. It's delicious, and you can eat a lot of it without like any issue whatsoever. We have a decent amount of that. We were running a little bit low on some chicken breast, but... Now we got all the chicken in stock this week. Breast, thighs, drumsticks, wings. This is all the, we still have some of the Italian marinated chicken available. I don't know if we'll do this again though. And over here are those glandulars I showed you guys last week. We got the ovaries back, prostate, thyroid, pancreas over there. Got the wild boar bacon back too with a slight price reduction. If you want some something a little leaner, leaner for breakfast. In addition to those, we also restocked some lamb fat and the bone-in ribeye steaks. So, not nothing too crazy this week. You know, we're not doing a million new products, but uh, I think we'll have a few new things to show you guys in the next vlog. I'm excited. Uh, we got the grape sorbet, cotton candy grape sorbet. We're going to do a new seasoning, and, uh, and then maybe that'll be the only new thing for a little while. Uh, going to start, um, I, I said in the fridge... We ran out of butter. We're going to restock a lot of butter this week. We found some uh, other Amish farmers to supply it. And then we're going, to, uh, we're going to start doing the new ice cream recipe, which I'm excited for. So that should be a bit better, a bit tastier. I spoke to the, uh, the Amish farmer, and they didn't follow my recipe exactly. They didn't put all the sugar in it that I said. So I think this time around it'll be, um, it'll be delicious because like we sold, we sold a lot of ice cream when we first... Uh, started selling it and then it, the sales kind of tapered off so we'll get rid of the rest of this batch of ice cream and then uh, I don't know I kind of I don't really want to give it away maybe we could do a slight maybe I'll do a slight discount on the rest of the 
ice cream inventory so we, we move the rest of it this week bro and this other guy was busting my balls too like a good business owner would seek to improve their quality control, but even recently there have been silly mistakes in fulfillment. I'd be telling my Discord about this and leaving the appropriate reviews on your website, which you, of course, free to lose. Do you guys want me to, to name you in the lawsuit when I sue Google? This is... I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing it. You have a new message from the New York Better Business Bureau. I su I'm suing these cocksuckers too, dude. I'm suing these cocksuckers too. Better Business Bureau serving Metropolitan New York. 30 East 33rd Street. Thanks for putting... Now I know exactly where to send the fucking lawsuit, you ugly cocksuckers. All right. Good. It, no, I'm going to sue them too. If they don't respond... I don't understand how a private website is allowed to host reviews about yours and extort you for fuck. Anyway... Let's try to read some positive reviews. Five-star review for the two grass-fed ribeye steaks. Uh, so this is a promotion at checkout um, that you get two grass-fed ribeye steaks for $33, which is like 25% off the regular price. Ribeye, cannot afford to be buying ribeyes, but these were on sale, and for this price, I decided to treat myself. Best steak I've ever prepared for myself. Yeah, I'm... I'm that's part of the reason I'm doing this. I'm glad we're able to to provide you guys with with the most affordable stuff online. Five star view for the A two A two local raw cheeses, best cheese I've ever had. I've been making organic pizza with this cheese, and I'm in love. The cheese doesn't make me constipated like other cheeses do. Everything. <laughs> Whoa. Let's not get too, into too detail. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the review, buddy. Five star review. <laughs> Five-star review for the product, organic potato chips, no seed oils. Tasty potato chips. I like how soft they were. Most of the time, chips can nick you in the mouth and are also really oily and nasty. But with these, I never have those issues. Yeah, guys, we're the only company. I mean, someone else probably copied the idea already. But we have the beef tallow chips and coconut oil chips on frankiestrangefoods.com. Five-star review for the smoked brisket and pastrami. Mind blown. If I could give this pastrami a 10 out of 5, I would. I've had store packaged pastrami for years and loved it. Just finished one pound of Frankie smoked pastrami and my mind is blown. The smoked flavor with the quality beef is like a kung fu kick to your taste buds. The stuff is even better than Wagyu steaks that I've had before, so that's saying something. Frankie will be my pastrami plug until the day I can no longer chew. I'm still high from the pastrami as I'm typing this must buy. Well, uh, yeah, I like doing stuff like this, but we don't, you know, we don't end up selling a ton of it, so it's almost a lot of the time it's not worth it. Five star view for the grass fed lamb ribs. Best ribs I've ever had. I got these on sale, cooked them on low heat without any seasoning at all. My family demolished it. I'm surprised because they're very picky about meat and need to season it like crazy. It was amazing. We're hooked. Highly recommend, just like all of Frankie's products. Uh, we got a five star view for the organic jarred russet potatoes. These are available on the foods website too invigorating extremely nourishing and helps sustain energy for a long day i had a couple weeks ago where i had to stay up an extended period of time would eat every day if i could yeah those those jarred potatoes we have are basically like potatoes ready to eat so it's really really convenient five star view for the prosciutto san daniel great delicacy actually kind of nuts in a good way at the price it's at now we did a side by side with what you can get from costco this was saltier and had a much deeper flavor and firmer texture. A good way to add something fun to your meat. Don't compare me to Costco, buddy. I'm gonna, next time you place an order, I'm gonna keep your. Uh, I'm just. I'm gonna have to keep the. Uh, I'm gonna have to keep your money as a down payment for the Costco trash talk. Uh, five star view for the A2A2 raw cow's milk. Another excellent product. Probably the most delicious and versatile product we've purchased from Frankie's. If you drank homogenized pasteurized milk most of your life, like I have, you will notice immediately a difference in taste as well as digestion. After consuming this raw milk now for a few months, there's a substantial difference in nutrition and overall well-being. I recover better from my workouts drinking this raw milk. My children also love this milk. Try it for yourself and see the difference. Uh, we got a 5-star review for the organic lemon honey sorbet. Texture 9 out of 10. Flavor 9 out of 10. Flavor is really good alongside the texture. Very strong lemon flavor in a good way. It's really enjoyable to eat especially if you need to hydrate also. It's very hydrating and a delicious cold treat. We'll be ordering again, yeah. As I said, if you guys like that last lemon sorbet, 
try the new one too. It's, it's really good. Uh, another review for the brisket and pastrami. Pastrami gave me my first mouthgasm. Yeah, I wanted to give this a legit one-star review to sabotage sales so I could buy all of it up for cheaper because it won't sell. But I figure, let the best man win. Uh, we got a five-star review for the raw ice cream. Best ice cream ever. Used to love ice cream when I was younger, but as I grew up, I shied away from the sugary treat. Seeing as this is all raw and organic ingredients, the inner fatty inside of me said, why not try it out? Big mistake! Upon opening the container and trying the first bite, the entire one pound serving disappeared into my belly. This was the strawberry flavor, which was oh so naturally tasting like eating actual strawberries. The second tub was the chocolate, and I was in even bigger trouble. This was the most luscious and creamy, fudgy tasting chocolate ice cream I've ever tasted. Needless to say, these were both the best strawberry and chocolate flavored ice creams I've had in my life. Do not buy it if you're trying to lose weight. <laughs> this ice cream will go straight to the candy. <laughs> yeah, I can't, can't help you guys on that one. Last review, beef barley soup. You won't be disappointed. The best beef barley stew I ever tasted in a long time. Very good. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully, once I file a few more of these lawsuits, that kind of gets these people to back off a little bit. And maybe, uh, like Google and Facebook and stuff, uh, once they get served the papers, they'll uh, they'll take down the reviews because that's going to be a lot more cost-effective to them <laughs> than paying a lawyer an insane amount of money. And as I said, guys, I don't like talking about this negative stuff, but... When, when I was Google searching my business, like yesterday and today, I didn't realize how negative that these uh, these corporate shill, evil club, parasite, elite members, I didn't realize how bad they've made my business look just from Google search, which got, I, I would imagine I've probably lost millions and millions of dollars in sales based, based on what I've been seeing the past few days. So we'll, we'll see if there's any remediation for it, but I don't know. Like you, you guys support me. You guys really appreciate what I offer, but there's only you know there's only so much you guys can do. You guys know me. You watch my videos, um, but like from an outsider or a new person that doesn't really watch my YouTube or doesn't do that, all they see is the negative reviews on the business. And like, I bet you I'm the only, probably one of the only businesses that has that bad of a review on, on, like on on the internet in general. For, for no warranted reason, you know? Like, how, how am I getting all these crazy reviews about people being happy about getting all these unique high quality products at these affordable prices and then you look at what Google and Facebook have and it's, it's like, it's the complete opposite. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but that's what these evil people do. They, they try to, they try to hurt you in every way possible, whether it's dire direct, direct charge back stealing money from me posting false and misleading statements on social media to deter people from ordering from my business. It just it just never ends with these people. Be a shame if, if uh, some of you guys left uh, Frankie's Arrange Me business cards on all the cars next time you went to Costco, huh? Be a real shame. There's an, you know, there's an awful lot of cars in Costco parking lots, man. You know, I won't get too much into possibilities, but if I wanted to play the same game these people were playing against me, let's just say there's a lot more real estate that I can mess with than what... Look, these people are messing with my business and harassing me. If I went out and started to try to steal their business like they're trying to deter mine, oh man, we'd have a ball. We'd have a ball with that. That'd be real fun. Bring my steaks into supermarkets and give them away for free. Hey, try my steak and buy from me. Don't buy... that like. Uh, look, I'm one. I'm one for being fair, and and doing legitimate business. But if these people continue to to do this stuff to me, I have no problem doing crazy wacko daco shit too. I haven't exactly gotten to that point yet, though. Maybe we should give it a test run, huh?